And hello everybody, it's Sherry Schreiner live on Monday night. Uh, it's been a busy week, it's July 2nd. For those of you who like me to throw in this uh, date, let me get this one back here. There you go, so it stays on, on the air. Some of you are from over at Out Shoutcast, and so I welcome you aboard. Uh, I do have a live streamer on Shoutcast. I think you can get that off the edge. Daniel, a Daniel site. Uh, you can hook up over there if you can't get the link off of my website. Uh, it's right at theedgeam.com. It's Daniel Lott's website. Uh, if you have a question for tonight, you can email me at sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com. Uh, you can send me an IM at sherrytalkradio at yahoo.com if you have Yahoo Messenger. Uh, but keep the straight to the straight to the questions. So I don't have to read a lot. Uh, it tends to stall the program a little bit. Uh, tonight I want to talk about something. I was talking about Nimrod last week, and so tonight I said I would talk about Semiramis, and so that's what I want to talk about a little bit. Uh, because this is a lot more interesting than you really think. <laughs> I'm going somewhere with all of this. <laughs> uh, so you see, I have a question. Just email it. There's a link on my website, SherryTalkRadio. Uh, dot com. And there's a quick question for the show link. You can send in a question and I'll get to it after I'm through with this stuff. Uh, you know, lately the Lord's had me into digging back uh, into the kind of like the pre-Noah days. Uh, kind of like after the Garden of Eden expulsion and, and before the flood. Uh, and, and certainly just right after uh, the flood when, when Noah started repopulating the earth again, his children were and some of the civilizations uh, that were sprung out, uh, Nimrod becoming the first uh, Antichrist after the flood. He was a, a demigod. He was one of these uh, Antics. He became the first god king. Some saying he wasn't born that way, uh, but that Satan had possessed him uh, and actually took over him. And so that's where the evilness of in Nimrod then came out. Uh, but we're going to talk about that because everything... All of these religions that we're even bombarded with today, even for the past couple thousands of years, stem from Eve, Cain, and Satan worship. And so people say, well, this stuff was wiped out by the flood. And I'm saying, every time there's been a destruction, it's always rejuvenated itself. And after the flood, it rejuvenated itself through Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz, their son. And, and you see this whole picture again of Cain, Eve and Satan uh, and this whole serpent seed line uh, a lot of people are just uh, so addicted to just reading Genesis chapter 1 and 2 and thinking that's all there has to say about the beginning of the world uh, and there's so much more uh, and so if you read earlier even the Arabic Targon uh, and even Enoch will talk about uh, saying sexually seducing Eve and producing Cain uh, and it wasn't a big secret back in those early years. The problem with it today is they want to hush-hush now. They want to operate in secret now. Uh, because they don't want you to know who they are. They don't want you to know who the serpent seed line is. Uh, but if you look at the Illuminati today and those who are in charge of our politics and our banking and, and where the money and the politics and the economies are, that's where Satan's seed dominates. They've done it for thousands of years and they're doing it again today. Uh, and that's where they're, they're coming from, folks. They all come from Cain and his seed line, Satan's seed line. Uh, and they even call themselves the sons of Cain. Uh, so I want to talk about this queen, uh, because one of the things that uh, even Joseph Flavius, the early Jewish historian, has stated, uh, is that it was the Hebrews, it was the Jewish people. And, of course, they weren't known as Jews back then. We, we kind of gave them that, that nigger uh, from the KJV and the New Testament and stuff. They were known as the Hebrews or the Israelites, uh, the children of Israel. Uh, the Jews were just a small tribe of the overall 12, 14 tribes of Israel. Uh, and so uh, they were the ones who restored, the Lord set them apart and restored them to a form of patriarchal worship, of, of father worship. Uh, because a lot of the societies surrounding them and all the pagan nations were in a matriarchal form of worship they all worshipped female goddesses uh, as the main focal point of their worship now the men had Baal and Malak and all these different names that Nimrod had taken on himself because Nimrod had become completely possessed of Satan 
Uh, and so Satan uh, gave himself all these titles of Malek, of Marduk, of Baal, of Zeus. You read all these different uh, terminologies of Greek mythology that everybody thinks is uh, just uh, fiction. Uh, and it's not fiction, it's just that every, every race back then that lived in the, in the Middle Eastern areas, the Canaanites, the Babylonians, the Chaldeans, the Medes, the Greeks, they all put their own different names to these same beings. And that's why you have so many different names for one person or one being or one entity. It's because all the different nations would, would name them something else. They didn't adopt each other's names for anything. And so that's why you have so many different names uh, for one being or one entity. Uh, queen Semiramis. Uh, she was uh, the, the, the infamous queen of the ancient Assyrian Empire. Uh, she became Nimrod's wife. She was a warrior queen, uh, which is in how he hel he met her. He helped she helped him win one of his battles, uh, and so he married her. Um, and the Greeks called him Ninus. The Hebrews called him Nimrod. Um, and everybody, like I said, everybody has different names uh, for the same beings. Uh, uh, some of the uh, stuff from Flavius Joseph states that, uh, you know, like I said last week in the show, and just backtracking a little bit on Nimrod, uh, was the fact that he wanted people uh, to worship in themselves and glory in themselves for, the, for their many battle victories. They didn't want to ascribe it to God, uh, because at this point Satan had taken over Nimrod, and he was the first person who started emperor worship, which makes him the first Antichrist. Uh, because he was the first person to start this emperor worship where he, he ruled the people by tyranny. He ran a tyrannical government uh, and became one of them to look up to him as a protector of the land. Uh, and he was mostly known, uh, the Bible associates him with being a mighty hunter before the Lord uh, because he was, I guess I described last week how he would put on the ram's clothing of Adam that Ham had stolen. Uh, from the ark and had given to his son Nimrod and, and when he wore these clothes, these ram clothes he would become super and he would become, uh, obsess, uh, possess supernatural strength and so it allowed him to win a lot of these battles um, and take over cities and build his empire he was the first one that had began empire building uh, back then uh, he was also uh, identified, and, and you know what, I actually found this uh, in the history, because I said it last week, uh, that he was most likely an Anik, that he was a Nephilim because of that whole term, mighty hunter before the Lord. The mighty often connotates uh, that they're Nephilim, that they're, they're the giants, the seven, eight, nine foot, ten, you know, ten foot tall beings, uh, and that pretty much uh, is confirmed by other people that have done this history back on Nimrod, in uh, the fact that uh, he was also known as Nephilim. Uh, he, uh, you can look in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 2, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 20, associated with the Anakim. Uh, and he had, uh, he had erected the Tower of Babel, uh, not only for just pure rebellion. Uh, some believe it was a, not only just a symbol of worship, but also one of protection uh, in case the Lord this, uh, had decided to destroy the world with a flood again. Uh, and though many believe it's a stargate, has something to do with astrology, and it's probably a mixture of all these things is where the truth is. Um, because uh, we know that he was part of his religion at the time, and you have to realize that Satan's actually possessing and running Nimrod at this time, uh, was leading the people into uh, witchcraft and astrology. Uh, he also became uh, one of the names Marduk, uh, and I believe that's another name for Mars or Saturn as well. Uh, and just this whole thing of ruler worship, where you worship the ruler. That's exactly what Satan's going to do uh, when he comes to earth as the Antichrist. Uh, he's not going to call himself the Antichrist. He's not going to come in the name of Satan. Uh, but he's going to let people...